Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 8 of Rosetta. In part 8 we're going to be squaring up our mandala, so we're going to be making four of these corners. I'll show you these rows one by one because they are just a lot of detail but it's really beautiful corners. You'll be making four corners this week, but they are however identical in the stitch patterns, just the color placement differs for some of the versions. So please keep your written pattern with you during part 8. I'm going to be referring back to that quite often. I'm using our Tribe yarn to make my rosetta. And rosetta is of course designed by Tatiana from Lillebjorn Crochet and is a Schepje Scale 2019. Thank you for watching. I hope it's a useful video for you. Before we start part 8, you first need to find one specific stitch. So here you have the edge of your work. What you need to start by doing is finding the place where you joined at the end of part 7. Now, I've already worked away my yarn tails, but I know it's here. Why do I know it's here? If I turn it around, I can see my thread that I was taking along. That was, that was here. So I know that my join is here. There's my join. The end of part 7. Then you go to the next chain 2 space. That's this one here. I've marked that chain 2 space. Okay. And then from here you count 47 stitches. And then you mark that stitch. Now I've actually hooked two stitch markers in there to distinguish them from my one stitch marker that I've got in the chain space. So 47 stitches stitch number 47. That's the one you mark here. And that's where we're going to start this round. So round one of the corner. Here's the marked stitch. I had the two stitch markers and that's stitch number 47. So with yarn A, this is yarn A, I'm going to join this in the third stitch before the marked stitch. So this is the marked stitch. And then go one, two, three stitches before. And join there with a slip stitch. You have, by the way, the right side of your work facing. Then in the marked stitch, so where I have the stitch mark, I'm going to work three trebles. One, that first one will open up, so just pull it back. Just one, two, three trebles, chain two, and work three more trebles in the same stitch. I'm just going to remove the stitch markers because I don't need them anymore in the same position work three more trebles. So that's one, two, and three. You to skip next two stitches and then we make a slip stitch. So skip one, one, two stitches and then make a slip stitch. So the first slip stitch we're going to work chain three. One, two, three. And again skip two stitches. So that's one, two skip. And then here in the third stitch we're going to work a slip stitch again. So one, two skip. And then a slip stitch. That means you're going to have two slip stitches here. That one and this one. And now we can turn our work to have the back side facing and then we're going to come back on this edge. Row 2, you have the wrong side of your work facing. Immediately in the last stitch worked, so it's going to be that stitch there, going to work three trebles. 
That's one, two, three trebles. And a treble on each of the next two stitches. So this is one and In the chain 2 space, it's 2 trebles, chain 2, and 2 trebles. And 2. I'm going to come down on this side, on the first 2 stitches work a treble on each. One and two. The last stitch, and that's this, and that this stitch might open up because of the slip stitch. That that last stitch there, going to work three trebles on there. It's one, two, three. Going to skip two stitches along the straight edge here of the, uh, of the octagon. Going to skip two stitches and then work a slip stitch. Now, as you see, this this stitch here is already worked in, so I'm going to skip one, two stitches, and then take this one here. Chain two. Going to skip one stitch, only the one, and then work another slip stitch. So skipping this stitch, go to the next, and work a slip stitch. And that's round two of the corner. Now turn your work again to have the right side facing. Row three of the corner. Have the right side facing. We're going to start by working two back post trebles around the first stitch. Just open up that there. That's your first stitch. So a back post treble around the first stitch. And you want two. So the second one I'm just going to stack on top. Two back post trebles in that first stitch. Along the next, all the next stitches until you're to the corner, you do the same. So a back post treble for all the stitches until you're to the corner. fuzzy there, and six. In the corner, I'm going to work one treble, chain two, one treble. In the corner, it's one treble, chain two, and one treble. Now we're going to come down and do the same, so back post stitches. Back post treble, every stitch, and in the last stitch we work two. So that's one, two, back post trebles, three, four, And then here's so if we work six, and then number seven here is the last one. We work two on there. And I realize it's maybe a bit hard to see what I'm doing because it's so small. But on that last one, 
Let's go around that last one. I've worked two back post travels. Going to skip one stitch here on the straight edge and then make a slip stitch. So I'm going to skip that stitch there and then come to the next slip stitch. Chain two, skip one stitch and work a slip stitch. And now again, turn your work for row four. Row four, you have the back side of your work facing, and we're going to work front post trebles on this edge. The first stitch, so on that one there, we work two front post trebles. That's the first one. You're just going to stack the one on top of the other. And two, so two on the first one, and then up to the corner space you work one front post treble on each. And I believe it's going to be about 10 or so. One, two, and this here is three, and four. Be sure not to, be sure not to snag the stitches underneath. You want only the front post or the post itself, so not the stitches you have underneath. And this one, and then here is the last one. Now, I didn't actually count them, but one on each. The chain space, so here's a chain space, you work a treble, it's one treble, chain two, and a treble. Going to come back and do the same. So one front post treble on each, and then the last one, two. The first one, that's one, two, this is three, four. Slightly turn my work because then it's just a bit easier to work this edge. You'll be rotating your work a lot, and of course, it's reasonably big at this point, so uh, you'll have your lap full of, uh, of your blankets. Hope it's not too warm where you are right now because it can be really hot underneath the blankets. Yeah, and then the last stitch that's that one there. Two travels, two front post travels around the last one. And there we go. Now you should have 11 stitches along each edge. So just count them: two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So 11 stitches along each edge. To connect to um, to the blanket here on this side, we're going to do the same as we've done before. Going to skip one stitch here. Now there's the last stitch worked. So that one. So we're going to skip that stitch and then go here with a slip stitch. Chain three and then we skip two stitches and do make another slip stitch. That's one, two, skip and then another slip stitch. That's row four. Turn your work, and then row five is, um, I believe, with the right side facing. Row five, you can see you have the front side facing, you can really see these nice textures that we get from those back and front post stitches. This row in the first stitch. And that's going to be in that one there. In that position, work three trebles. So that's one, two, 
and three. So three trebles in that first stitch. And then we work one treble on every stitch until you're to the chain space. And this row is nice and easy, so one treble on every stitch until you're to the corner space. That'll be about ten stitches or so. And here is the last stitch just before the chain space. Just before the chain space you work the last treble. So you have now one on every stitch. Get to the chain space. In the chain space two trebles, chain two and two trebles. It's two trebles, chain two and two trebles. That's a new corner made. If you want to check your stitch counts along this edge you now have 15 stitches so from from the edge to the chain two space 15 stitches. I'm going to come down and do the same on this side. That means one treble in every stitch and three in the last one. So here's the first stitch. I'm going to work one treble in there and then until you're to the end you work one treble on each. And the last one you work three. It's my last single treble. And then here's the last stitch. That's the very last stitch there. I'm going to work three trebles in there. So one, two, three trebles. And again here you need to have 15 stitches. I'm going to skip two stitches on the octagon. Now here's the last slip stitch that's in there. See there's the last slip stitch. I'm going to skip one, two stitches and then make a slip stitch. Chain two. Skip one stitch, so only the one, and then make a slip stitch. There we go. This you're going to, um, but you know at the end, you're going to turn your work, you're going to swap this around, and then we're ready for the next row. Here you see row six works already. We're going to be needing the written pattern a lot in this part because we're going to be repeating many rows. And row six, that's this one here, is a repetition of row four. That means you're going to be working two front post um, trebles in the first stitch, then one front post treble on every stitch, and in the corner a treble, chain two treble, come back down, a front post treble on every stitch, and then the last one, two. And then remember here these last bits as well with the chain. So. Please use the written pattern because we're going to be using them a lot for all of those repeat rounds. I'm just going to say repeat row this, repeat row that. I'll show you the result, but I'm going to be showing you each and every stitch. So this is exactly the same as row two. If you look at it from the front, you see you have this nice textured stitch here. For your stitch count, if you want to check if you're still correct, you have 17 stitches here and 17 stitches coming back down and of course the chain two corner space. Then swap again to the front for row 7. Row 7, in this row we're going to be making popcorns if the right side of your work facing. I'm going to start with three trebles in the first stitch. Let's just open up you see here's your first stitch. So three trebles in there. So one, two and three trebles. The next stitch we're going to work a popcorn in that stitch and popcorn is five trebles and then you take them you complete five trebles so that's one two three four so you complete five trebles in that stitch 
open up your working yarn. I just tend to catch this loop with my finger and then go back to the first of those five trebles. That's this one. First one. Pick up the loop on your hook. Pull that tight. Now you're going to pull your working loop through that first stitch. And chain one. And this chain doesn't count as a stitch, it's just to really nip your popcorn that it's nice and tight. On the next four stitches work a treble. Okay, so that's one, two, three. And this I'm going to repeat two more times, so the popcorn and four trebles. That means on the next stitch, this is stitch work a treble, sorry, five trebles I mean, so it's one, so we're working a popcorn, two, three, four, five trebles, open up, come back to the first stitch, pick up the loop, pull through, chain one, and again four trap so four trebles, yes, four trebles. The next stitch so one, two, three, and In the next stitch, again a popcorn, so that's five travels, and this is then the last repeat, two, three, four, five, five travels, come back to the first stitch, pick up your loop, pull through, chain one. So I have three popcorns already and now again four trebles so on the next stitches. So one, two, three and four. Now if all went correct you have one stitch left and on this stitch, before the corner, we're going to work a popcorn. So five trebles in that last stitch. Two, three, four, and five. And come to the first one, that's this one. Pull through. That means you now on this edge have four popcorn stitches. Corner, it's one treble, chain two, and one treble in the chain space. And now we're going to come down and we're going to do exactly the same on this side as we did here, but in reverse order. So we're going to start with the popcorn. That means on the first stitch there, the treble, well, actually the first of five, because one, two, three, four, five trebles, come back, chain one, and on the next four stitches, Work a treble again. One, two, three, and four. Then. This you need to repeat two more times. 
That means in the next stitch you can work a popcorn, then four trebles, then again a popcorn and four trebles. I'm gonna make a jump in the video. So do this two more times. Popcorn, four trebles, popcorn, four trebles, and I'll see you then. When you've done those popcorns and trebles, you should have here two stitches left. That one and that one. On the second to last stitch, work a popcorn. And in the last stitch, you work three trebles. First popcorn, so three, four, five trebles. Open up that stitch again. Find the first one. Chain one. And here's the last stitch, that little loop there. That's the last stitch. Work three trebles in there. One, two, three trebles. The last part, I'm going to connect it to our work here again. Skip two stitches. So that's one. Oh, no, wait. This is this is the, where the slip stitches are. You really need to pay attention to see exactly where the slip stitches are. That's in there. So skip one, two stitches, and then the stitch after. Work the slip stitch. Chain three. Skipping another two stitches and then work a slip stitch. One, two, skip, and then a slip stitch. Which I, there we go. Can't get done. That completes row seven. I have a lovely textured popcorn row. Row eight. Now row eight is the same as row five. And that means trebles and in the chain space um, a treble corner. But I'm just going to show you the start of row 5, or row 8 actually, it is a row 5 repeat because of the popcorn. So you have the back of your work facing, and then in the first stitch, that's this one here, work three trebles. So it's three trebles in the first stitch, then a treble in every stitch. And when you get to the corner, it's two trebles, chain two and two trebles. Now, the next two stitches work a treble, and then we get to the popcorn. And that might just be a bit, a bit unusual for you, depending on, 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 on how you do it. Here's the popcorn stitch. Now that little hole there, you can work the treble in there, but some people prefer to work it on a chain one. Personally, I don't, because I can be a bit tricky sometimes, that chain one. The chain one also doesn't really count as a stitch. So I work it here kind of next to the popcorn. That's where I work the treble. That's a treble on the popcorn. Now you have four trebles and then you have another popcorn. That's one, two, three, and then here is four. And then the next stitch is again a popcorn stitch. You see here, if I open it up, that space there. That's where I'm going to push it in. It's just to the side of the popcorn. And this you're going to repeat all the way around. So you work a treble on every stitch. In the corner, two trebles, chain two, two trebles. You come down, you work a treble on every stitch. Then in the last stitch again, three trebles. And then remember again, to work your slip stitches here along the edge. So you're going to repeat row 5. And that's why I say take your written pattern and, and just look at the repeats. Otherwise take the video from round 4 or round 5. I'm going to go all the way around and you'll have 24 stitches at the end of this row. Row 9, that's a repetition of row 3. Three. So that's that row of back post stitches that I've just worked here. Same as row three. That means in the first stitch, two back post trebles. In the last stitch, two back post trebles. And in between, one back post treble on every stitch. And in the corner, you work a treble, chain two, and a treble. And then, of course, also the slip stitches at the end. So take the written pattern or go back to the video for row three. And then You'll get another nice edge. 
you have 26 stitches either side at the end of this row. Row 10 is a repetition of row 4. You will have 28 stitches either side after the end of row 10. So you're going to repeat row 4, so that is front post trebles all the way round. Repeat row 4. Row 11 with the right side facing, you're going to repeat row 5. So that means a um, three trebles in the first stitch and the last stitch and a treble in every stitch and in the corner also. So with the right side facing repeat row 5 and then just the end with the slip stitches is different so I'll just quickly show you that but for the beginning repeat row 5 until you're at the end of the of this edge here. I've just worked the last three trebles in that last stitch so how to end this row. After the last three trebles we're going to skip two stitches. So here's the last stitch work, there's a slip stitch. You're going to skip one, two stitches and work a slip stitch. Chain one and immediately in the next stitch work another slip stitch. And now you can again turn your work for row 12. Row 12. What we're going to do in row 12 is two double crochets in the first stitch and then a double crochet on every stitch until the corner. Now the first one is here. The two doubles in that first stitch. And then a double crochet on every stitch until we're to the corner and it's quite a stretch so one double crochet on every stitch and the last stitch there we go so that's a double crochet on every stitch now at the corner chain two corner space work a double chain two and a double in the corner And then we come down and work a double crochet on every stitch and in the last stitch you work two. So a double crochet on every stitch and I'll just see you at the end again. And then we're also going to change colors. And a few more doubles. And here's the last stitch that there. Here's the last stitch, that one going to work two, two doubles on there. That's one and two. Now here on the straight edge, I'm going to slip stitch immediately into the next stitch. So here's the, here's this last slip stitch. You're going to take the next stitch and slip stitch into there. Chain three. going to skip two stitches and then a slip stitch but that slip stitch you're going to make with a new color and you're going to take color D so that's the color you need here if you have a color craft um, kit you're also going to use color D but you also need color E sometimes so please read the pattern on which colors you need when but I'm going to take color D skip two stitches one two and in the next stitch make a slip stitch with color D and then just pull yarn A tight and then turn and the next round is going to be in color D leave yarn A attached we're going to pick that up later on so the next round is in color D row 13 now row 13 is going to be very similar to the row that we've done here before with the Popcorns. We do have yarn D on our hook now. Let's start by in the first stitch, it's going to be that stitch there. In that first stitch, work three trebles. Be sure not to accidentally pull.
pull out your yarn because you still have it attached with only a slip stitch. See that you're opening up that loop, so you just pull, pull that loop a bit tight. So that's one. And I've just got my work a bit here, a bit fumbled up. One, two, three. So that's three travels in the first stitch. Now we're going to start a small repeat, very similar to here. In the first five stitches, work a treble. So that's five trebles. So one, two, three, four. Five travels, and in the next stitch, work a popcorn. The next stitch is going to be five travels for the popcorn. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Five travels in the one stitch. Open up that loop. And come back to your first stitch, first of the five, and pick up the loop and pull through chain one. Now that's going to be the small repeat unit. Repeat this until you're almost here to the corner. So you're going to do this four more times. You need to do five times. This was the first. So you're going to do it four more, and that will bring you here. I'll just see you at that point. So repeat this five trebles and a popcorn four more times. When you've done the repeat four more times, then you have five popcorns along the edge. And if all went right, you have three stitches left before the chain two corner space. On those three stitches, work a treble. That's one. Two and three. There we go, three travels. In the chain two corner space, two travels, chain two, and two travels. There's a chain two space. That's one. Two travels, chain two. two trebles. That's your new corner. On this edge we're going to do the same as there but in reverse order. So in a mirror image. So that means we're going to start with three trebles on the first three stitches. So one on each. So that's one, two, Three. And now we're going to start that little repeat unit again. So a popcorn and five trebles. That's popcorn, so that's one, two, three, four, and five trebles in the one stitch. Open it up. And there's the first stitch. Bring the loop through the first stitch, chain one. And then on the next five stitches, work a treble. And here's the first stitch. There we go. It's one, two. Five. There we go. Five trebles. And this you're going to do it four more times. So again, five times in total. So work a popcorn, and then five trebles. So popcorn and five trebles until you're, well, until you're basically to the edge. Then I'll see you there. When you've done the repeat five times, you'll have five popcorns along the edge, 
And at this point you should have one stitch left. In that last stitch you're going to work three trebles in that one stitch. That's one. Connect our work here to the octagon. We're going to skip two stitches. Now you see here's the last slip stitch work. Let's skip one, two stitches, and they work a slip stitch. Chain one, and a slip stitch in the next stitch. And then you can turn your work for row 14. With the back of your work facing, you're going to work a row 12 repeat. So with yarn D, you're going to work a row 12 repeat. That means in the first and the last stitch you work two doubles, and all the other stitches you work one double. In the corner it's a double, chain two and a double. So you're going to work double crochets on, all the, on both edges. You'll have 40 stitches either side. When you're finished with that, I'll just show you how to do this last bit here on the edge. Here's the last stitch worked with yarn D on my hook. We're going to immediately in the next stitch work a slip stitch. So here's the last stitch worked. Immediately in the next stitch work a slip stitch. And while we do that we're going to change to yarn A. We've got yarn A here. So I'm just going to change to yarn A. Actually, if you want you can actually take it from this side. That'll give you a neater swap on yarn A and work a slip stitch. I'm just going to pull that through. It might seem a little strange the angle I'm taking but it'll be fine. And you can just pull your thread tight and this thread that's color B you can now cut color B because the next round is going to be in color A. Now, to make the next round, I'm just going to do a chain one. And immediately in the next stitch, work a slip stitch. And now we're ready for row 15. Row 15, you have the right side of your work facing, and we're going to work this with color A. In the first stitch, that stitch there, work two doubles. One, two, so two doubles. Now I'm going to start a small repeat unit. So five doubles and then a front post double treble. Five doubles. So one, two, three, five doubles and now we're going to work a front post double treble in the stitches three rows down now that's these green for me it's green it's these double crochets here in color A and that's front post double treble we want to work vertically remember we've done this before here on these stitches there on those stitches but you want them vertical so you've got to make an, an uh, you kind of make an, uh, an estimate of where the stitch is most vertical twice over for the double treble. I'm going to take this stitch here. So come down, three rows down, so it's in the double crochets in color A. And give this double treble room to breathe. Skip one stitch to the back. I'm going to skip one stitch. Am I skipping one stitch? Yes, that one, and then immediately the next one. Work a double, and this is again the first of five. So this one is the same as that first one. So that's your repeat unit. Five doubles, and then the front post double treble. That's, I'll show you again. That's one, two, three, Five, 
five front post double trebles. Oh, sorry, I'm um, five double crochets, and so now we do a front post double treble. I'm going to do it here in the middle in this one. Take that stitch because again, you want these to be vertical. Twice over. Three times take off two loops, skip one stitch to the back, and work next double. And this is again the start of the next repeat. So I've now done the repeat twice with you. You need to do four more, and then you'll be here, and then I'll just see you here for the corner. So work this until you're to the corner. I've done the repeat six times and now you're almost to the corner. I can see you're really framing those popcorn stitches. I'm going to stitch, skip one stitch to the back. Skip, skip one stitch and then work a double. And this is the first of three. And you should have three stitches available. Two. And this is the last one there, that's three just before you get to the corner. Then the corner is going to be one double, chain two, and one double. And if it's easier for you, so one double, chain two, and actually hook on a stitch marker in this chain two space. That, that might just help you to find these spaces. And then another double in the same position. It might just help you to find these chain two spaces because with the doubles they kind of become a bit hard to see. We're now going to come down and we'll do the same on this side as we did there but in mirror image. So it means on the first three stitches we work a double. So one, two, three doubles. Now again a front post double treble. Just turn my work a bit. Front post double treble and here in the doubles from round A, three rows down and then five doubles. Skipping a stitch to the back of course. That means twice over. Then again you want to keep them vertical and I'm going to take this stitch here and this is a bit of an estimate which stitch works best. Skip one stitch to the back. Skipping a stitch. And then work five doubles. One, two, Five doubles, and then again come down here and work another front post double, and that's the start of your next repeat. Take this stitch, so front post double treble, and skip one stitch to the back. And this this here, I'm going to repeat until you're almost to the end. So repeat this until you have again done this six times. So we've now done once. So this is the front post treble and then again five doubles. Then you've done it twice. So and then do until the end. When you've done the repeat six times, you're at the edge of your triangle and you should have one stitch left. So you see here those last five doubles should have one stitch left. In that last stitch we're going to work two doubles. So one and two. Immediately in the next stitch, that's going to be that one there, we work a slip stitch. You see here's the last stitch worked, so immediately in the next stitch work a slip stitch. 
chain one and again a slip stitch in the next stitch I can turn your work for row 16 so row 16 is again a repetition of row 12 so with the back side of your work facing you're going to work a double crochet, actually two double crochets in the first stitch two in the last stitch and one double on every stitch in the corner it's one double chain two and one double you will have 44 stitches either side at the end of this row so work a double crochet row and then I'll see you just here to show you the last part and we're going to change colors again so here are my last two double crochets in that last stitch to finish this row I'm going to immediately after work a slip stitch so we're not going to skip any stitches here immediately work a slip stitch in the next stitch chain three two three I'm going to skip two stitches and then work a slip stitch and with that slip stitch we change colors to yarn B if you have a color crafter kit please read the color instructions in the pattern about which color you need if you have an out tribe kit you need color B anyway to skip two stitches and then change to color B with a slip stitch. I'm just going to pull that tight. There we go. Leave yarn A attached. We're going to use that again later on. And then turn your work. The next round is in row B. Row 17. This row is going to be very similar to the popcorn row we've worked before. I'm going to start with three trebles in the first stitch. So there's the first stitch. I'm going to work three trebles in there. So one, two, Starting and finishing yarns tight. There we go. Now we're going to start that small repeat unit again with a popcorn and five trebles. So that means in the next stitch we work a popcorn. Sorry, first we need one more treble. One more treble. In the next stitch, one treble. This is an easy treble to forget. One treble, and now we can start the repeat unit. So it's a popcorn in the next stitch, and then five trebles. That's very similar to what we've done before. So the popcorn is five trebles in one stitch. So it's three, four, five. Open up the stitch. Come to the first one and pull through chain one. And then on the next five stitches, work a treble. One, two. And that's your repeat. So now again, popcorn on the next stitch, and then work five trebles. I'm going to repeat that until the end. Your last stitch will be exactly here in the last stitch. So I'm going to work this seven times in total. I've just done once. Do this six more times. So popcorn and five trebles. When you've done the repeat seven times, you should have exactly zero stitches left at the end of this row. And you have seven popcorns along the edge. In the corner space, you have still got it marked from the previous row. Work two trebles, chain two, and two trebles. In that 
corner space, two trebles, chain two and two trebles. If you want you can bring the stitch marker up. My experience is however with the trebles that you can find the space easy. It's with the doubles that it's sometimes difficult to find that space. So that's your corner, two trebles, chain two and two trebles. I'm going to come down and do exactly the same but in reverse order compared to here. Fluff. Work five trebles to start with and then a popcorn. Start with five trebles. One, two, three, four, five. We got five, five trebles, and then in the next stitch, work a popcorn. Repeat that until the end. Two, three, four. That's five travels, and then pick up the first one and chain one. There you go. And that little unit repeats until the end. So five travels and a popcorn. Going to repeat on this entire edge. When you've come down, you've done all your popcorns and all your repeats. You have seven popcorns along this edge, and you've just finished the last popcorn. You have two stitches left. On the next stitch, you work one treble, and the stitch next to it, three. It's three trebles. So that's one, two, and three trebles. Going to skip two stitches. Now this is the last stitch where you have the slip stitch in. Going to skip two stitches and then make a slip stitch in the next. There we go. Chain one. And then do not skip any stitches but immediately make a slip stitch in the next stitch. And now you're ready to turn your work for row 18. Row 18, which is again very similar to what we've done before, you're going to work a row of double crochet. So in the first stitch you work two and in the last stitch you also work two doubles the rest one double on every stitch and in the corner it's one double chain two and one double. I've can put that stitch marker in to help me find it. So this is a repetition of row 12. So you've done this before. So just work the entire row of doubles. And when you're here I'll just show you the last part because we're going to change colors again. So at the end of row 18 I've just worked those two last doubles in the last stitch. So here's the beginning yarn tail and here is color A and that's actually the color we need because immediately in the next stitch it's going to be this one here going to work a slip stitch with yarn A so we're going to change colors to yarn A I've just got those, all those yarn tails still here I still need to work them away so I'm going to change to yarn A immediately in the next stitch pull yarn B tight and then you can also cut this thread, you don't need it anymore. Chain one with yarn A and immediately in the next stitch work a slip stitch. There we go. And now you can swap again, your, turn your work for row 19. We need the front side facing. Row 19, you have the right side facing, and this row is very similar to this row here where you've done those front post double trebles. You just start in the first stitch, we just close that slip stitch there. In the first stitch, that one there, 
to work two doubles in the first stitch. It's one, two doubles, and then seven double crochets on the next stitches. It's one, two, And now we're going to do very similar to what we did here. We're going to work a front post double treble coming down to the stitches here, these green stitches, these row A double crochet. It's going to work it in there. And then we're going to skip a stitch to the back and then continue like that until we're to the end. So I'm going to sw um, yarn over twice. I'm going to take this stitch here and this is, an in this is just an, a guess because if I think it's too skew I'll take the stitch next to it. So work a front post double treble, looking for a, a, a stitch that gives you a straight, um, a straight line here. Skip one stitch to the back, okay, so skip a stitch to the back, and then work five doubles. That's one, two, three. five doubles and this you're going to repeat seven times in total and that will bring you exactly to the end so now again twice over I'm going to take this stitch work a front post double treble skip one stitch to the back and work a double and again, keep looking that you see, okay, are, are my stitches nice and straight? Continue with this until you're to the corner. So I've just worked the repeat once and a little bit. So this front post double treble, skipping a stitch, and then five doubles. Continue that until you're to the corner. When you're to the corner, in the after your last repeat, you'll be at the corner. I've marked that chain space with a stitch marker to help me find it. So in the chain space you work one double, chain two. I'm just going to hook up the stitch marker on that new chain and another double. That's your new corner. Now you're going to come down and work exactly the same as you did here but in reverse order. So we're going to start with five doubles and then a front post treble, or double treble I should say. And we're going to repeat that until we're to the end. One, two, three, four, and this is five. Five doubles and come down. And again, make an estimate about what stitch is going to give you the nicest results. Skip a stitch to the back. We've done this before, of course. And then work a double. And that's the first of the next repeat. So do this again seven times five double front post, double treble, and a skipping a stitch. And then you'll be almost to the bottom, and then I'll see you there again. If you've done the repeat seven times, this is where you end up. You've just worked that last front post, double treble. I'm going to skip one stitch to the back, that's still part of the repeat, and then work the first of seven doubles. That's one, two, three, four, one stitch left on this last stitch, that little stitch there, work two doubles. One and two. On this straight edge, do not skip any stitches. Now this is the stitch where the slip stitch is in, so you're going to come to the next stitch and work a slip stitch in there. 
chain one and then work a slip stitch immediately in the next stitch and now you can turn your work because the next round is going to be with the back side facing with the back side facing row 20 is again a row 12 repeat that's a row of double crochets so again two in the corners here at the point of the one double chain two one double and I'll see you here at this point to show you the color change because we're going to change to color F so if we just look at the last position you see there are those two doubles in that last stitch and just going to not skip any stitches so here's a stitch with a slip stitch come immediately to the next stitch and work a slip stitch in there then chain three skip two stitches and then in the third work a slip stitch and with that slip stitch we're going to change colors to color F for me color F is better with this silver silver color here and let's skip one two stitches then come to the third here and make the slip stitch with color F and then pull yarn A tight again leave yarn A attached because we'll be using that um, in the next rounds row 21 again very similar to previous popcorn rows we've done. Start with three trebles in the first stitch. Just pull open your work and you see ah there's the first stitch. the first three stitches the treble two three okay. now we're ready to start the repeat unit again that's going to be a popcorn of five trebles and that's exactly the same as we've done before so I'm just going to show you the popcorn one last time or maybe not the last time, I'll show you again. Three, four, five trebles in the one stitch. Open up, come back to the first position, pick up the loop, and pull through, chain one. Followed by five trebles. One, Double, um, so the trebles and the popcorn are going to do this eight times in total. You've already done once, so you're going to do a lot more and that will bring you here to the corner. I'll see you then. So do this popcorn of five trebles seven more times. After the last repeat you have eight popcorns and you see your popcorns line up nicely with the double trebles from two rows down. If these don't line up by the way, if they're one to the left or one to the right, it's so likely at the beginning you um, either missed the stitch or worked one too many right at the edge here. So most likely if something went wrong it went wrong here. So this is what you're looking for that they line up. But here at the edge, the point, just done that last repeat you should have two stitches left before that chain space. And the next stitch we're doing a popcorn. Five trebles in the one stitch. Five. Go to the first stitch. Pull through. Chain one. 
and then in the last stitch before the corner space, which is a small stitch, there we go, one, tra one treble, that's all you need, one treble. In the chain corner space, two trebles, chain two, two trebles. Two trebles, chain two. And I'm just going to remove this because it's in the way. And two trebles. Two. That's the corner. Then the other way, going to do exactly the same but in reverse order. It means we start with one treble. Then a popcorn. And I'm sure that you really now really know how these popcorns work. They really give you a work texture and that makes them a nice stitch. Three and this is four. Oh, I'll just make there we go. Four and five, five trebles. Pick that up. And Chain one, and now five trebles. One, two, and five. There we go. And this is again the repeat in the popcorn and the five trebles. So you're going to do this until you're almost to the end. You will have you'll have done this eight times in total. So do this seven more times and I'll see you at the edge. When you're at the end of repeat number eight, you'll be about here. You see I have all these popcorns along the edge again. And you should have a few stitches left. In the next stitch. Here, work a popcorn. This one, two, three, four, five trebles. Open up. And pull through. Chain one. Your last stitches, three trebles on the next stitches. That's one, two, three, and here it gets a bit small. And then your last stitch, your very last one, you work three trebles. This stitch can be a bit hard to get into because of all the slip stitches that you have there. One, two, So to join this all up to our work again, everything is in this last stitch, there's the last slip stitch, skip one, two stitches, and then work a slip stitch. Chain one, and come to the next stitch and work another slip stitch. You're almost to the chain two corner space on the circle. Then rotate your work because we're going to come back with a row of double crochet. With the back side of your work facing, row 22 is a row 12 repeat. So that's another row of double crochets exactly the way we've done before. Just the end of row 22. You see here those last two doubles. I'm just going to swap my threads here because we're going to immediately in the next stitch work a slip stitch and we're going to do that with yarn A so we're going to um, fasten off yarn F at the end of this round immediately in the next stitch let's here we're going to work a slip stitch with yarn A just pull that tight chain one and again 
in the next stitch is going to be your last stitch before the chain two corner space here work another slip stitch and there we go at this point you can also cut yarn F row 23 this row is very similar to this row we've had before here with these front post double trebles and the um, uh, double crochets. We could start in the first stitch with two doubles. And here's the slip stitch, so come to the first stitch. And in that first stitch work two doubles. And two. And now on the next three stitches work a double. So one. And now I'm going to start a repeat unit you can go to do nine times. It's a front post double treble and then five doubles. So that's twice over. And you're again going to do it in the green double crochets three rows down. So I'm going to take this stitch and again here making an estimate where is it straight. Because you want these double trebles to be straight relative to your popcorns. Skipping one stitch to the back. One, two, three, four, and five doubles. And this you're going to do until you're to the end. So you're going to work a front post double treble add five doubles until you're to the end and that and um, then you've had it and you've done it nine times. I'll see you there just for the corner again. Almost to the corner of row 23 and the last two stitches so you've just done that repeat nine times on the last two stitches work a double on each And then in the corner, work a double, chain two, and a double. And I'm just going to replace this, place the stitch marker in the new corner. And then another double in the chain two space. There we go. They're going to come down and do the same, but in reverse order. So start with two doubles. On the first two stitches and now comes the repeat unit so that's five doubles and then a front post double treble that's going to be one two three four five five doubles and then a front post double treble two rows down and again make an estimate where you think the stitch is going to be most straight and take that position take this one here which you just can't see uh, I can't get around it very nicely but this will do and then skipping a stitch to the back skip one stitch to the back and then the next double. So this, these five doubles and then the front post double trap, we're going to do that until you're to the end and then I'll just see you when you're at the other side. Almost to the end here. I'm just going to skip one stitch to the back again. That's still from the repeat actually. And then work three doubles. So one, two, And three. In the last stitch work two doubles. It's a bit messy here with all those slip stitches. One, two doubles. You have one stitch left and the corner <coughs> in that <coughs> excuse me. 
and that last stitch, this one here, work a slip stitch. Chain one and then in the corner space here work a slip stitch and then continue work for the last row of this corner. I'm sure it won't surprise you that round 24 is again a row of double crochets, so that's a row of 12 repeat. So again work double crochets on both sides, you'll have 64 stitches on either side and I'll just show you the closing of this round. After the last two double crochets, those are those two worked in the one stitch, you have the chain two space, in the chain two space work a slip stitch and that's it. Now you can cut yarn A. And when you're all done, you've fastened off your work, this is your first corner. So it's exactly between two chain two spaces. This is your first corner. Now you need to work four, no, three more. You need four corners in total. And you're going to work your next corner on an um, on the next section of the um, of the octagon where you have 51 double crochets. So I'll just show you in a moment how to find that. But this is what you have right now. So here you see one corner that marked chain 2 space on the octagon. What you're going to do is you're going to skip one marked section. One section. So here's a chain 2 space, here's a chain 2 space. This space, this section you're going to skip and then you're going to come to the next section which will be this one here. And if everything went right, this should be a section where you have 51 double crochets. Remember we had alternating 50 and 51? This should be a section where you have 51 double crochets. And here you're going to attach your yarn again. So that will be yarn A. Yarn A you're going to attach to the 47th stitch. And that's exactly the same way we started the corner. So the 47th stitch and then you can repeat the corner. And when you're finished, your blanket has four corners. So here's the first one, and then there's a piece um, on the on the circle where there's nothing. And then you have a corner again, and likewise the other four corners. You're going to have alternating one where there's just um, the the circle, and you'll have a piece of fabric where there's the corner. So when you have four corners, and that takes some time to do all four of them, you're ready to do the last round of the blanket for this part. And then we're going to start in any corner space so on the top of any corner. Here we're going to start and then we're going to work one round all the way round. So with the right side facing for the final round, we're going to start in any chain two corner space from of the um, on the triangle. In there Start in there with a slip stitch. So attach color A, by the way, to that corner. And then chain two, which is not a stitch. And in the same space, we make a corner. That's going to be two trebles. Chain two. And two trebles. All in the same corner space. And that's your new corner there. And I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do the first edge with you, and then you do the same on the other three. I'm going to start with the 63. Sorry, 62. 62 trebles. In the first stitch is a treble. 62 trebles. That's quite a bit that's going to bring you almost to the point where the triangle meets the circle. It works 62 trebles. And 
sexy one. Then I have 62 trebles. At this point you should have two stitches left before the chain before the first chain space here. On those two stitches going to work a double treble on each of them. It's twice over. And that's the first one and that second one might not be very visible. Then just stick your hook in there somewhere because of, because we always been turning in all the slip stitches. So two double trebles. Next here's the chain space. I'm just going to remove the stitch marker. We're going to work a double treble four together over the chain space and the next three stitches. It's going to be pinching it a little together. Just twice over for the double treble. Then in the chain space we pick up a leg, twice over, and in the next stitch so we do a four together, twice over, and the stitch after, and again, the stitch after. So that means we now have four legs in the chain space and the next three stitches. We take them all off in one go. In the next two stitches again a double treble. Twice over, this is just a double treble, the normal one. So one and two. Followed by three trebles of the next stitches. One, two, and the next stitches, three trebles, five half trebles. It's one, two, The next two stitches, a double crochet two together. So in the next stitch, pick up a loop. Immediately in the next stitch, pick up a loop and take them off. Ten double crochets. We're going to work ten doubles and then a double crochet two together. We're going to do that two times. First ten doubles. One, two, three, and ten double crochets. Now again, a double crochet, two together. So one, two, and this we're now going to do again. So again, ten doubles, and then a double crochet, two together. You really need to keep track of your stitch counts here. So you also use the written pattern and make sure that, you, that your stitch count is correct. So that's three. I'm going to work ten, four. Again, ten double crochets, and now again a double crochet two together. So one, two. So you've not done that twice, 10 doubles at 2 together, 10 doubles at 2 together. Now 14 doubles. 14 doubles. So that's 1, 2, so until you have 14, 3, that's 14 doubles again. You can hardly see the stitches here, they're so small. We're now going to do the same again, a double crochet two together and ten doubles twice. 
So again, double crochet two together. That's one, two, and now ten double crochets. That's one, two until you have ten, three, ten doubles. We do this again. So that again means in the next stitch. Double crochet two together and again ten doubles. That's one, two, three. Those were the last ten doubles. Now we're going to work our way up again. So over the next two stitches, the last double two together. And now it's five half trebles. One, two, three, four. Five half trebles, followed by three trebles, one, two, three trebles. On the next two stitches, a double treble. Now again, if it all went well, that's always a relief and it goes well, even for me. You have three stitches left and the chain space. And over those three stitches and the chain space, I'm just going to remove the stitch marker here. You're going to work a double treble four together. Same as on the other corner. Twice over. One. Three and then number four here is in the chain space, and then you take them all off. And now we're on the next triangle again. In the first two stitches, work a double, um, double treble. Do two double trebles so twice over, and this first one, well, it's just pushing it open a bit. That's the first stitch there. So one, and this is two. There you go. Two double trebles. And now over the, on the next stitches, 62 trebles. This really is the same as the other side. And then you're at the next corner. Just two, continue until you have 62. And after those last 62 trebles, you're back at the corner. See, here's another corner space on the triangle and here you work the same corner so they're going to be two trebles chain two and two trebles in that corner space and then you're all the way around so this treble is the same as the very first one do that three more times and just keep counting your stitches that you show you're still on track Go all the way around and then close on the first treble with a slip stitch and then you can fasten When you've gone all the way around, you're finished with this part. Next week we'll start again with tapestry crochet. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.